let us discuss photosynthesis in detail you all know that all animals including human beings are totally dependent on plants for their foods but plants don't depend for their foods on any other organisms they synthesize their own food and they not only synthesize their own food but they also synthesize all the food requirements which are required in the total biosphere for those organisms who don't have the necessity of producing foods okay to understand the issue i'm telling you one simple story what happens in a normal middle class family uh, our brothers fathers uh, collect raw materials from the market it may be vegetables rices or meats it is she we give it to our mothers our mother takes it to the kitchen uh, and then she cooks and after cooking that she also have that food and also we the total family members have that same food okay so this story is totally related to photosynthesis here the role of mother will be played my plants by those organisms who has that machinery of producing their own food through photosynthesis and production of food is possible only through this procedure that is photosynthesis okay we have to understand another one point why we take food you will know i think food is being taken generally for energy our whole body this is one system okay to run the system a lot of energy is required and that energy is being supplied by food so food is basically for energy and you know what type of energy is stored in the food this is generally chemical energy but in our body what is required or in any organism's body atp is required and here is the chemical energy inside the food and this is released through respiration by the process of respiration so energy from the food is transformed into the usable forms through the process of respiration and you must keep it in mind that it may be in plants or it may be in animals it may be in any organism for respiration organic compound is essential respiration you all know the steps of respiration glycolysis gives cycle in tissue generally what we had seen there we have seen there that it was started from glucose which was actually one carbohydrate and that was one organic compound so for this respiration what type of food is required what type of chemical is required that is organic organic compound is required for respiration and basically that is carbohydrate or any other type maybe also but carbohydrate is preferable and in photosynthesis actually what is being synthesized here organic compound are being synthesized mark this word synthesis what is being synthesized organic compounds are being synthesized okay organic compounds basically in photosynthesis procedure carbohydrates are synthesized carbohydrates and you know what carbohydrate is synthesized first glucose is synthesized then this glucose is transformed into starch and this starch starch this will be then available in the plant as available foods for both the plants and for all other organisms which need foods so this organic compounds will be synthesized from inorganic compounds from inorganic compounds a lot of inorganic compounds will be involved here like a co2 you all know h2 in some case h2s also may be involved so using this inorganic compounds organic compounds like as carbohydrate will be synthesized through this photosynthesis procedure this conversion from inorganic to organic for this conversion we need a lot of energy and also while we are synthesizing this organic food for energy so also we have to store a lot of energy inside this organic compounds because later on we will use it as food for our energy requirements in this procedure what happens 
light energy is being utilized okay light energy is being utilized here light energy light energy is utilized this photo photo means light light energy is utilized and this light energy is actually sunlight okay this is actually sunlight so suppose this is our sun sun is radiating its energy through sunlight that sunlight will be utilized in this procedure and this sunlight there is a lot of light energy this light energy will be trapped and it will be transformed into chemical energy inside these chemicals so this will be transformed into chemical energy so this is actually our photosynthesis where light energy will be transformed into chemical energy a synthesis of organic compounds will be occurred from inorganic compounds where photosynthesis occurs you all know this photosynthesis procedure is generally occurs in green plants okay in green plants in algae also and in some bacteria which causes bacterial chlorophyll not in all bacteria only in photosynthetic bacteria photosynthetic bacteria and this photosynthesis if you explain what is this process actually how what is the nature of this process we can say that this is one physico chemical process physico chemical process okay let's understand what this terms actually what is chemical process chemical process means you all know that there will be chemical reactions there will be the involvement of uh, different type of atoms involvement of formation and breaking of covalent bonds rearrangement of atoms this all will happen and if this are happens we generally call that one chemical reaction okay and that process is called chemical process but what, what is physical process the physical process is that type of process where there will be no involvement of any breaking of covalent bonds or rearrangement of atoms this type phenomenon will be absent so here you can understand that conversion of co2 uh, and h2 or h2s to carbohydrates like as glucose is obviously one chemical process and that is this is not a single step reaction at all a lot of steps will be there but why it is called physical it is because of the presence of sunlight this mechanism is physical and the absorption of this light energy this light energy is being absorbed by chlorophylls and inside that there is one light harvesting complex then reaction center will be activated this procedure is actually physical so in photosynthesis both both physical procedure and chemical procedure will be involved that's why it is called physico chemical process and you can understand that this photosynthesis is such a process which is one basic process for the existence of this whole universe because if photosynthesis were not there there will not be any food and no organism will survive in this biosphere and this process of using light energy by plants doing photosynthesis this is the basic procedure of life this is the basic process of life in the earth okay now this food which has been synthesized through this photosynthesis by the green plants will be utilized by both that plant which has synthesized this and also by all other animals and all other organisms which do not perform photosynthesis rather the dependent plants for their own food requirements so this will be used by plants and this starch or this carbohydrate has been synthesized in that plant so we termed it as autotrophs autom itself okay it has produced its own organic material inside its body through photosynthesis so we are calling it autotrophs and rest other organisms all other and all others who do not perform photosynthesis they will take it from plants and those will be called heterotrophs heterotrophs you have to also clear another one concept what is that here you see the all other organisms especially the animals okay especially the animals they are taking food from plants 
plants is providing them organic material directly. These animals don't take generally these inorganic substances as raw material inside their body and they don't have the machinery of transforming this inorganic to organic and they utilize it for respiration. They don't have this machinery. So they take the organic compounds from plants directly. That's why they are called heterotrophs. But here, autotrophs. Plant is being called autotrophs. Plant is also taking raw materials from the environment. That is CO2, H2, this all. So what are the differences here? The difference is that plant is taking inorganic substances as the raw materials for the respiration. But these heterotrophs, they are taking organic materials directly. So you know the concept? Those organisms which will take inorganic substances as raw material for their respiration and inside their body what will happen that inorganic substances will be transformed to organic then that organic will be utilized as a respiratory substrate those will be called autotrophs but those organisms which generally take organic compounds as their respiratory substrate directly from the environment those will be called as heterotrophs now another one important concept we have to clear that is that the total organic compounds which has been synthesized by the plant through this photosynthesis procedure there's crores of plants in our total biosphere in the earth the total amount of organic matter which has been synthesized through this photosynthesis procedure that is termed as gross primary productivity okay so that is termed as the total this total total organic material which has been synthesized this is called gross primary productivity gpt and one part of that gross primary productivity has been used by the plant itself for its respiration this is say this is r for its respiration so what will be left for us gpp minus r and this term is referred to as net primary productivity net primary productivity and you must know this that this net primary productivity annually in one year per year in this total biosphere it is about 170 billion ton in dry weight so it is about 170 billion tons in dry weight in dry weight so this is our photosynthesis introductory part in the next video we will talk about what we know about photosynthesis and how we have come to know from and we will also discuss some experiments and some contribution of different scientists who has helped us to develop our knowledge during photosynthesis it will be in the next video